Hey, this is Phoenix with another um, uh, science presentation. Uh, we're going to talk about alchemy today. Um, alchemy is a very secretive um, practice. It's very like kept down low, and not many people know too 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 much about it. Um, the 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 main goal of alchemy was to find the stone. The stone was said to be, the philosopher's stone was said to be something that could turn, that could turn lesser metals into gold. So, because they believe that, that, so to back it up a bit, they believe everything had a universal spirit. So, like, everything was kind of connected. Everything had a similar energy, uh, in a way. And, um, they believe that the metals were, like, alive and, like, growing in the earth. And that, le and, like, pieces of metal, like, lead and such was just, like, premature gold. So, <clears throat> so, to them, metals were not just address things on the per on the periodic table but the same item in different stages um, they so uh, other things that the philosopher's stone was said to do was it, it was said that the philosopher's stone was supposed to like have the power to heal to prolong life and to turn the the metals into into a gold world. well like I said before this this transformation they they that, that that would happen was known as transmutation which is the broad it's like a broad term for like changing something to like its opposite I guess it's so like so you you, you could change so you could say it is from like old to young or like or from passing from a from a earthly being to like a supernatural existence or something, a, a lot of opposites in this. Um, although alchemy was not the first thing to attempt these goals, um, like various past religions and um, and like times of medicine also tried to achieve this as well as sorry as well as. Uh, Metallurgy, I think I'm saying that right. Um, but these metallurgists, uh, guests, they they were they had similar goals, and but their theories came from like folklore and like religion. So they were like basing their tries on like on like some like myth. Which is kind of cool, but um, so the process behind alchemy is is kind of cool. It is it is it is a sequence of like heating up multiple uh, mixtures and like odd named materials, basically. Um, like a lot of similar things were used in all the practices, but like small variations would be put in to try to accomplish the philosopher's stone and let's see um so we can talk we can move on and talk about what alchemy did for the future for nowadays alchemy was the goal of alchemy to prolong life and turn the metal into gold was never accomplished um but it has been said that it is because of alchemy that that today's science is what it is today. So like chemistry, the 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 science of like things reacting with each other. A lot of stuff came, uh, a lot of stuff for that came from alchemy, which is, which is cool. Um, because of alchemy, we came to learn a lot of new substances and words. But like we learned like alcohol and like the mineral acids which is cool uh, today people rarely pursue alchemy but there are still a few 
that do. Um, in conclusion, the way alchemy, the way of the, the way of alchemy is very m mystical and based off things that weren't like a hundred percent proven, but but it has shaped our future science, which is nice because something that wasn't proven can turn into something that can be proven. Basically, but yeah, um, alchemy is cool. It's secretive. Um, hope you enjoy.